Well, let me tell you, this is my first GSR and my expectations were not so high because all these big events usually, you know, you have um, uh, lots of uh, panels, lots of uh, people, but not so much discussion, not so much in deep discussion. And uh, it was a great surprise for me to be here. And, um, and the, the panels were very interesting. The level of discussion was uh, also very high level. So, so far, I'm very, very um, impressed by GSR. Portugal is a, a quite interesting case study because in spite of the fact that we are, have been going through a, a very difficult economic situation in the last five years, let's say, we have a level of investment in new generation networks that is quite impressive. And uh, right now we are among the countries, in, in European countries, with um, a higher level of coverage of, um, of fiber and also with cable. So right now, I think that uh, from the, the, the level of coverage uh, for broadband, for super fast broadband, we are in quite good shape. However, and this, there is always a however, the problem is that the, the drawback of the situation as the take up is quite low. So this is the, the impact of the economic situation. So people are, uh, they can have access to the main services with the ADSL. And so they are not looking for more expensive services like fiber. And the most uh, difficult challenge for us as a regulators in the next uh, uh, few months will be to decide on the access to the fiber network. Well, it, this, this panel was very interesting because different countries have very different experiences. In our case, the compensation fund uh, is used only to cover the nest cost of universal service. So this is a particular situation because in many other cases these compensation funds are used to subsidize investments and to subsidize the information society. In our case, in our specific case, and this was what I was explaining, we use the compensation fund as a way to, uh, to gather the, 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 the operators and to make them participate in the, in the costs of the universal service. And this is quite interesting, I'm sh uh, I think I should say, because somehow the, um, the we are uh, imposing the cost of universal service to the sector. And uh, the big discussion usually is that who should pay for the universal service? Should be the, the government with public funds or should be the sector through the operator's contribution or should it be a hybrid situation where you have public funds and private funds. In our case, we decided that uh, we should maintain the costs of the universal service in the sector. I should tell you that I'm very confident because the telecommunications sector in Portugal is very dynamic, is very sophisticated. And I think we are among the best uh, um, in terms of telecommunications in Europe. The challenge that we have ahead is related to the economic situation of the country. So if we solve the economic problems, I'm sure that the telecommunications sector will be a very important driver to push the economy in the right direction.